Enrollment has begun on healthcare.gov. Yeah, and most employers will open enrollment for a couple of weeks sometime between now and the end of the year. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is joining us again now to explain your options. Haley? Yeah, guys, so it might be possible to say that this year's enrollment could be more important than ever. Health is at the top of everyone's mind. While some people may have lost jobs or they're trying to navigate the Affordable Care Act for the first time. Here are the five facts to know as you choose a plan. According to co-founder of Get America Cover, Joshua Peck, the most important thing is to take action before the window closes. For healthcare.gov, that's December 15th. The website has had technical issues in the past, so the sooner you enroll, the better. One of the most common reasons for avoiding coverage is cost, but it might be cheaper than you think. Three out of four people um, who currently have coverage in Texas can find a plan this year with a monthly premium of $10 or less. In fact, he says 4.7 million Americans are eligible for $0 monthly premiums. The trick is low monthly costs typically mean high deductibles, meaning an emergency health crisis is going to cost you a lot. But a low deductible will cost more per month. So figuring out what your anticipated needs are is critical. One of the easiest ways to navigate the plans here on localhelp.healthcare.gov, you can enter your zip code and find nearby people to assist you at no cost. Selena Guajardo with Legacy Community Health is one of them. If a lot of people that have lost their job or have decreased their hours of work, if they're expecting to have a lower income, that may probably mean that, you know, they may be eligible for a smaller premium as well. To do side-by-side -side comparisons with someone like Guajardo, she says to have your social security number, annual income, and proof of dependence ready. Based on that and that their household size, it will determine, you know, if they do receive um, a tax credit, and then um, what their monthly premium will be. So really the big takeaway this year is don't get complacent. Do some comparison shopping to see if another plan can save you money. And as the pandemic continues for an indefinite amount of time, you may want to review your telehealth options and options for coronavirus treatment. Now there are scams out there, there that prey on people looking for health care. So it is important to make sure you are calling the right phone number and only using healthcare.gov when signing up for government health insurance. Any other website might not be legitimate.